Hello and welcome back here to South Shields. Today we will be taking on Milton Keynes and League One. But before we get into that, let's go ahead and take a look and see how we've gotten on since last time. So, in opening day, we took on Burton and got that incredible 5 2 victory over them. Next game, we took on Birmingham City, and we once again got an impressive 2-1 victory over them, thanks to early goals from Gooderidge and Dan Woodman, who's been on fire the first couple games of the season. Then we took on South End, and we got our first defeat of the season. We definitely were the better team here, but we could not find a way to score a goal. And South End ends up getting the 1-0 victory with a goal from Salami in the 54th minute. We then took on League 2 side Plymouth in the EFL Cup. And we were very poor in this game and crashed out of this cup with a 1-0 defeat. Thanks to a first half goal from Nick Freeman. Then back into the league we faced off against Oldham. And we were back to winning ways with a 2-0 victory. With goals from Craig Gooderidge and Connor Webster. So if we switch over here to the league table. With our impressive start we sit in a second place. 3 wins, 1 draw, sitting on 9 points. Doncaster sits with 10 points top of the table as they got a draw instead of a loss in their game. So, after four games, we could not have been in a better position. So, today's opponents are sitting in 23rd place. Milton Keynes have one draw and three losses. So, hopefully, we are able to get a victory over them today we are home in mariners park so we need to give our fans something to cheer about today and we do have a couple of new signings today to go over first off we have a new left back this is brandon hunstrup who i just signed yesterday so he has been on trial with us, and he is a much-needed reinforcement at left back as we kind of only had William Booth, and our backup was uh, Neil Thurwell, who is an under-18 player. So we definitely needed to get someone in here to replace Jack Robinson, and I'm pleased that we got a good player and Hunstrup with that. Very good physical and mental stats, and plenty of blue and green stats for technicals where they matter. Other players not taking part today, but he has played a few games for us already. This is Vontae Daly Campbell, and if you look at his physical, you can see he has 17 acceleration and 16 pace. Absolutely insane. He's been very good in the couple games he's played for us. Two league games and came off the bench in the Carabao Cup where that EFL Cup game looks to be a real threat down our right-hand side. But Miles Judd gets the start today as Daly Campbell is not quite fit enough to see off this game as the Oldham game was just a couple days ago. But other than that, uh, we have Marley Blair and Haygarth starting. And we also have Alex Curran starting over Caldbeck today. But a very strong team, and hopefully we are able to get a victory over MK today. And we are off at Mariners Park. We've had sellouts in each of the first couple home games so I'm sure there's another packed crowd out here today let's give them something to cheer about yeah the stands are full 
But Molten Kings are on an attack early. And wow, we give up a goal to Milton Keynes. Jacob Davenport finds himself at the top of the box unmarked and he fires it home. No one went and covered him on his run and he fires it home and we have an early deficit that we need to overcome now. We have a corner now, a chance to get a goal. Guterich wins the header but is not able to get it on target. But we look dangerous there. And a yellow card picked up by Adam Good. Which is not good. <laughs> Coming to an end. Got a lot of anxious and nervous players out there for some reason. Very disappointing to see that. Not sure why they'd be anxious and disappointed or dis nervous for this game when we've had bigger games so far this season. Need to have a much better second half. This is nowhere near the standard of our expectations after the first couple games. We're going to sub off good. He's been absolutely terrible today. We will bring on Ashley Charles. And second substitution, Marley Blair will switch over and will bring on Ben Wagstaff. Poveda's looking tired and not particularly good either. And final substitution, Connor Webster on for Dan Woodman. And we get something going on here, boys. Webster picks up a yellow card, but we have a corner. Webster whips it in. He's looking for Blair, and he hits the crossbar, and it bounces over. How unlucky was that? Into the 85th minute now, and we're still not able to find a goal. Extremely disappointing. Hagarth picks up an injury now as well. Our final opportunity, and Hagarth loses the ball. Unbelievable. Milton Keynes is not a good team. They're in 23rd, and we're going to lose at home to them. I will let the team know that is unacceptable. Guterich, poor game. Blair. A poor game. Good. A poor game. Simply put, not good enough at all. We get a extremely disappointing loss to 23rd place Milton Keynes. And we see us drop down to 5th place after that game. Very, very disappointing with that one. No reason why we should have lost to them. Yes. That is where we will be ending this episode. I think a good game to come back for next time will be against Wimbledon. That only seems fitting to take on Wimbledon next after facing off against the franchise Milton Keynes. But as always, if you've enjoyed this episode, please be sure to hit that like button. And if you are new around here, be sure to subscribe and turn on that notification bell. Until next time, it's been your Boyd147.